What's my opinion of the Book of Enoch? I think it's great. So the Book of Enoch, you guys know what that is? Um, so you, you guys are in these Young Earth Creationist curriculums, right? How many of you are Young Earth Creationists again? How many of you are Young Earth Creationists again? Okay, by the way, I'm not, I'm not freaking you out all of this stuff, am I? Okay, good. Um, well, have you heard about the Ark Encounter and they have like a Colosseum with giants in it? Right? They have like a diorama with giants, like in a Colosseum battling dinosaurs and, and people and all that. Who are those giants exactly and where they come from? It turns out that, that, uh, that if you go about 200 years BC, people were starting to write biblical fiction essentially. <laughs> And, um, and the book of Enoch is this biblical, biblical fiction. So it's, it's called a pseudograph. So they were claiming it was written by Enoch, but everyone knew it wasn't written by Enoch. It was part of, a, part of just like, you know, like a, just having a good novel in that day. And they basically took the story of the Nephilim from Genesis 6 and kind of expanded it into this grand story that had, you know, angels interbreeding with you know, the descendants of Adam and Eve to pr produce, you know, giants. And how different angels and different Nephilim were the custodians of different parts of the world. It's, it's, it's actually a really, it's like, it's, it's totally science fiction. It's awesome <laughs> from 200 BC. One of the things I actually like about the book of Enoch is uh, that they talk about a Messiah figure. And you know what the term is they use for the Messiah figure? The son of man. Does that sound familiar to you? It turns out that Jesus referred to himself as the son of man, which literally means the son of Adam, by that title more than any other title. Now, Kurt is actually the New Testament theologian guy. I think that's right. Does that sound about right? No, no, that Jesus referred to himself by the title son of man more than any other title. Which is interesting, because you don't really see that title anywhere. A lot of people point to Daniel. But the thing about it is, the Book of Enoch was really popular at the time. It was kind of like the, you know, you know, that was like one of the stories that people were telling. So it actually makes it very clear that that reference to the Son of Man was a Messianic reference when you have the Book of Enoch there. So you asked what I think about it. I think it's actually a really critical part of the cultural context. I don't think it was inspired like Scripture. But one thing that it really does show us is that, that even back then, before evolution entered the scene, before deep time entered the scene and all that, people were just completely being clear that, yeah, scripture doesn't tell us everything. There's big questions, and there's a great deal of value in speculating and having fun trying to figure out and fill out the pieces in the mystery. Does that make sense?